Vincent van Gogh was a Dutch post-impressionist painter who became one of the most famous and influential figures in Western art history. In a decade, he created about 2,000 artworks, including around 860 oil paintings, most of which date from the last two years of his life. They include landscapes, still lifes, portraits, and self-portraits, and are characterized by bold colors and dramatic impulsive and expressive brushwork that contributed to the foundations of modern art. Not commercially successful in his career, he struggled with severe depression poverty, which eventually led to his suicide at the age of 37. Van Gogh was commercially unsuccessful during his lifetime and he was considered a madman and a failure. As he became famous only after his suicide, he came to be seen as a mis misunderstood genius in the public imagination. His reputation grew in the early 20th century as elements of his style came to be incorporated by the German Expressionists. He attained widespread critical and commercial success over the ensuing decades and is remembered as the important but tragic painter whose troubled personality types his romantic. The romantic ideal of the tortured artist. Today, Van Gogh's work are among the most expensive paintings to have ever been sold and his legacy is honored by the museum in his name, the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, which holds the world's largest collection of his paintings and drawings. Now we will talk about now, let us discuss the style and work of Vincent van Gogh. Van Gogh strove to be a painter of frugal life and nature. During his first summer in Arles, he used his new palette to paint landscapes and traditional rural life. His belief that a power existed behind the natural led him to try to capture a sense of power or essence of nature in his art, sometimes to the use of symbols. His paintings of flowers are filled with symbolism. But rather than using traditional Christian iconography, he made up his own, where his life is lived within under the sun, and the work is allegory of life. In Arles, he gained the confidence after painting spring blossoms and learning to capture the bright sunlight. He was ready to paint the sorrow. Van Gogh stayed within what he called a guise of reality, and was critically of over-stylized work. He wrote afterwards that the abstraction of the starry night had gone too far and the reality had receded too far in the background. Hughes described it as a movement of extreme visionary efficacy. The stars are a great swirl, which are reminiscent of Focassi's great Between 1885 and his death in 1890, Van Gogh appears to have building a collection that reflected his personal vision and could be commercially successful. He was influenced by Planck's definition of style that a true painting required optimal use of color, perspective, and brushstrokes. Van Gogh applied the word purposeful to paintings he thought he had mastered as opposed to those he thought of as studies. He painted many series of studies, most of which were still lives, many executed as color experiments or as gifts to friends. The works and arts contributed considerably to his oeuvre, though he thought most important from the time were the Sour, Night Cafe, Memory of the Garden in Eden, and Starry Night. With the broad brush strokes, invented perspective, colors, contours, and designs, these paintings represent the style he sought. Some of the most notable work of Vincent van Gogh includes Sunflowers, Bedroom in Arles, The Starry Night, Wheat Filled with Crows, Sorrowing Old Men. Van Gogh's work are among the world's most expensive paintings. Those sold over 400 million US dollars include Portrait of Dr. Cachette, Portrait of Joseph Rollin, and Irises. The Metropolitan Museum of Art requires a copy of Wheat Filled with Cypresses in 1993 for 57 million US dollars by the funds donated by publisher, diplomat, and philanthropist Walter Anberg. In, In conclusion, Vincent van Gogh was one of the greatest painters to ever live. Thank you. Thank you.